Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. We're in Clock Town and we finished up most of our errands for the moment, so really all that's left to do is to wait until midnight of the third day, like I've said before. So uh, what we can do to sort of speed the process up is talk to the Scarecrow here. Yo, hey baby, I'm a stylin' Scarecrow, wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till night. Shall we dance? Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, in that case, forget the time, let's dance. <laughs> like, just kind of looks back, it's like, what is going on here? So yeah, as you can see, when we dance with the Scarecrow, we sort of advance time to the next time period. This is now night of the second day. So if we like, baby, we can get the time and dance till dawn. So you can do it again and sort of speed up the uh, flow of time here, pretty much. So we're going to keep dancing with this guy until eventually... We reach night of the final day. Only 12 hours remain. Oh yeah, how was it? It went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. But outside, it seems to have gotten kinda dangerous. Yikes, I'm getting out of town. Take care. I know of a mysterious song that allows you- Wait, he's just gonna keep talking to us. That allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Would you like to learn it? Nah, nah, we'll deal with it later. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, see you later. And he goes down into his little pond here. So as you can see, we have now reached the final day. We also have a new guy working. I think this guy works nights and the other guy works days or something like that. But um, there we go. So let's head on out. And uh, as the Scarecrow guy said, things have gotten a little bit more dangerous out around town. We're going to head back to South Clock Town because we just need to wait by the clock tower. Uh, but this will also give us a chance to sort of see what he's talking about. Remember we saw the moon before when we were in the observatory looking through the telescope? Well, uh, now if we head on over to this place and we can look up, you can see that the moon is quite a bit bigger. Uh, and that's kind of what's going on here. If you all look really closely as we sit here, I might um, end up speeding this up so you can see it a little better. But um, if you look really closely, you can see the moon is actually moving. And it's actually getting bigger. So what I think I'm going to do here is just keep looking up until we reach the time we need to get. And I'll probably like speed it up a lot so you can really see the movement. But... Um, anyway, here we go. So there you go. You can definitely see that it is quite a bit bigger now. And we're also about to reach midnight on the final day, which is when some new and interesting stuff is going to happen. So let's sit back and watch. Alright, so it is now midnight, and as you can see, the timer has been replaced with a more traditional type of timer. So, let's head on forward, Towel's gonna stop us real quick. Don't stop now, look, you can get up there now. Well, I wouldn't stop if you wanted to talk to me, but let's go ahead on up and see what is there. this? Ah, Teo, we've been looking for you two. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave back that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Whoa, holy crap. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No, what are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you think, still think you're a friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it.
Yep, and that's pretty much what's going on. We've got our new uh, five-minute timer, so there's plenty of time for me to explain some things. As you can see, the Skull Kid here is going a little crazy, and he's causing the moon to come down on top of Clock Town, which is pretty much the disaster we're trying to avert. I don't know what we're going to do in five minutes, but, um, well, we've only got one power, so let's use it. Shoot a bubble at him. Oh, so that hits him, and that also causes him to drop the ocarina somehow. It must be a very powerful bubble. But he drops that, so let's uh, run over and pick it up. And we got the Ocarina of Time back. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Set it to C and use A and force you once to play a press beef stop. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. And here Link goes into flashback land while the world's about to end. Go figure. You are already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule, and I believe my heart in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please take this. I am praying, I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. You remembered the Song of Time. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song and memories of Princess Zelda. And off we go. So that's pretty much the very, very beginning here. The Goddess of Time is protecting you. If you play the Song of Time, she will aid you. Alright, so meanwhile, back in the real world where things are going to crap, Snap out of it! What are you doing, Lost in Memories? Get yourself together! Getting that old ocarina back isn't going to help us! Somebody, anybody, got us a time! Help us, please! We need more time! So they're really throwing hints left and right at you. The Skull Kid's just kind of hanging out here watching us now, which is really kind of creepy. So let's go into our inventory screen and put the ocarina on and use it. And when we do, you'll see something kind of interesting. <laughs> Other than the fact that Tattle's green. Huh? When did you get that instrument? Holy crap, we've got some pipes. Awesome. So, we can play some songs now, which is awesome. And what we want to do is, of course, play the Song of Time. And it serves a slightly different purpose in this game than Ocarina of Time, just a little bit. It says, save and return to dawn of the first day. Uh, well, okay, that sounds interesting. Let's do it. And it is once again dawn of the first day. What just happened? Everything is frozen like the dog. Start it over. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Well, what are you, anyway? That song you played, that instrument. That instrument. Wait, that's it, your instrument. The mask salesman said that if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget, or what? Yep, so we have returned back to the first day, and that's kind of the main mechanic of this game. We can play the song of time whenever we want to start time over. So it's kind of interesting. Now, before we head in, there's also a couple other songs that we know that we don't know that we know, but we know them, if that makes any sense. First one is this. 
As you can see, um, you may not be able to pick up on it right off the top of your head, but if you look at it from right to left, it's the Song of Time backwards. This is called the Inverted Song of Time, which will slow the current flow of time. So if we say yes, you can hear the clock slowing down, and it slows down considerably, too. Look at the time, it's just barely moving around. And also, it's kind of funny because the people in Clock Town move a lot slower. Like this guy, for example, who's going to check his mail. Check this out. Walking very slow. Shoes made of iron. Okay, yeah, so that's basically what that song does, which is quite useful. The dog still moves at normal speed, though. The second one that we know now is this. And this is the Song of Double Time. What it will do is proceed you to the next time period, in this case, Night of the First Day. We don't want to do that, but that's also just one we know. Um, those are the two songs that the Scarecrow would sort of tell us about if we said yes to learn his songs. There you go. Uh, but now we're going to walk back and talk to the Happy Mask Salesman, which is kind of interesting because to him, we literally just walked out and right back in, and now we've got our ocarina back. So <laughs> I always thought that was kind of funny. But let's go ahead and talk to him now that we've gotten uh, our ocarina. Were you able to recover that precious item from that imp? <laughs> Whoa, holy crap, man. <laughs> oh, 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 you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it! Then listen to me. Please play this song that I'm about to perform and remember it well. By the way, is that not way too many keys? True. I, I love Link's expression there. It's like, oh man, thank goodness. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I'm sure we'll be of assistance to you in the future. Ah yes, I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. And with that, we get our first mask, which is... The Deku Mask, to keep as a memento, press start and set it to blah blah blah. Wear the mask with blah to inhabit the body of a Deku, press blah again to return to normal. Awesome. <laughs> now, I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please, give me that which you promised me. Uh, yeah, about that, man. <laughs> I love how Link just looks down. Don't tell me. My mask. You did... get it back, didn't you? Ah, holy crap. <laughs> oh my god, man, stop that. <laughs> what have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. The mask that was stolen from me, it is called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now, that imp has it. I am begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it! <laughs> really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. <laughs> this guy, man. You'll be fine, surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths, believe. Alright, I'm not sure if I want to trust you after you just shook me like crazy, man. You, you are really creepy, but... 
there you go. That's pretty much our new main objective. We've heard a couple of things, which I think Tattle is going to sort of uh, give us a little bit more information about. So go out. By the way, um, if we look up there, there's a Mario mask. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, but let's go ahead and head back on out now that we're back to uh, regular old Hylian Link again. Uh, we can also check our little subscreen here and see that we've gotten our first mask, the Deku Mask, which of course takes up one of these uh, slots over here on the right. So let's go ahead and put it on. And when we do so... Yikes! We get transformed back into a Deku, but no worries this time because we can just press it again. And we turn back. So now we can pretty much just transform at will. The Skull Kid actually helped us out a little bit there. What do you know? But anyway, we've now got a, uh, a new big objective. We need to recover Majora's Mask before uh, the end of the world in three days, pretty much. So um, we are going to make a few first steps next time. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.